Hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to Chrono Arc. It's another Korean roguelike, and it's still in early access. It means there's going to be bugs, all sorts of problems. We had to delve through some weird stuff to even get here. But hey, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's all fine. Many decades ago, an unknown darkness started to envelop the ground. The ground rattled. Everything turned to life and started attacking humans. There were scientists who thought the world was going to end. They started a project. It was to make an ark and evacuate inside the ark. The project proceeded safely. Those who survived started evacuating, and the Ark started to run. But the joy of success did not last long. Everyone related to the project has disappeared. Humans left behind tried to research about the Ark, but it was impossible to recreate the Ark with modern technology. And there was a message found by the investigation team. The universe will reverse back to the time before everything began if the clock tower starts ticking. It was the last message they left. Okay, so let's get going. Uh, let's see. I've already looked at the options. There's an option to turn glasses off. I don't understand. Now, I think this does actually have, like, a plot compared to most roguelikes. Are you scared? You have nothing to worry about, Lucy. Whatever happens in that place... Lucy, whatever you go through, you will be safe. It'll not be long until the world stabilizes. Soon we'll see each other. Sleep tight, my daughter. <laughs> that text went by way faster than I was ready for it to. Auto-scrolling text works if the game's voice acted, but when it's not, eh. Well, I'm digging the uh, the art style. I wonder if I can use a controller for this. Because I am a lazy man. The answer is no. Damn it. Ugh. Laziness. Subverted. And I ran my own toe, toe over. Okay. Hello, room. I am small girl. Hello? There's no record found. It's a radio. And a tape player, I think. Hi! Select party members to recruit. What? Uh, so, we've, we can just, alright. Sup, people? So we've got Hein. Oh boy, this edgelord. He's got everything. He's studied the blades somewhere along the way. Warrior with great hatred against religious order pharaohs. It's hard to control himself due to his madness, but he holds great potential. Hein has increased max health and is powerful against multiple enemies. So I get two party members. We also have Joey, a genius chemist, left the research lab where he is manufacturing special equipment to investigate the Twisted Land to fix the problem by himself. He can help allies or harass enemies with various buffs and debuffs. Uh, Miss Chain. <laughs> of course. Loves destroying, burning, and cutting anything in sight into half. Applied to the investigation team to play around at the Twisted Land. What else could she possibly do with a flamethrowing electric chainsaw that she made all by herself? Miss Chain has a great sustainability based on her passive skill and additional effects that can help her help flip a battle in her favor. Azar. Azar doesn't get nervous and... Wait. Yeah, he absolutely looks like he's nervous. Oh, well. Doesn't get nervous and copes skillfully in any situation, which makes him a great leader. The investigation team expects nothing less of him. The damage dealer who wields hollowed swords. And then Leon wields a great sword. Also a master duelist. Talent and skills are highly acknowledged, which made her an instructor in the investigation team. Can use passive skills either aggressively or passively, depending on the situation at hand. So, gains parry when an attack skill is in hand. Bonus armor, okay. Take a look at these. Burn. Gains burn when she casts a skill. Health gauge is protected during burn. Hmm. Okay. So let's grab her. There's also class skills. There's some other stuff. Uh, let's just select her. What's this? Oh, so we can see the character art. 
And trace by rules. Attack. Oh, hi. Okay, you can maximize damage by utilizing your passive skills. Attack rules may not always have increased attack. Defense. Battle more safely with various defense traits and support. Okay, so why don't we grab uh, Chain and Joey and go from here. I'm ready to go down to the Twisted Land. I am lost. Why are they letting this little girl go down? I don't really know. I am confused. Okay. Well, I'm definitely digging the art. Music's not actually half bad once we get in. It was a little deafening when I launched the game. Now it's like, honestly, too quiet. Well, let's go this way and see what we got. You can open the map with the M key. Okay. Fast travel to a blinking area by clicking on it. A jar that may contain something useful. Loot. Unknown scroll. Must be identified to know the effects. Okay. Uh, I'm actually gonna turn turn this game up a little. I guess actually I can do that in the options, can't I? There we go. It was a little quiet there. Fight. Sure. Monsters protecting the area. Fight! We will learn. So, it honestly kind of makes me think more of a dungeon crawler than anything else. But it looks like... It looks like there's a skill system. I, I wonder if it's deck buildy or not. We'll see. Cast a skill by clicking on it from the skill list on the left. Whenever you cast a skill, it costs mana. Max mana will be recovered every turn. You can cast as many skills as you want until you're out of mana. Enter your turn by pressing the end turn tab. End your turn. Okay. Cast skills with 0 through 9 F4. Okay, so mana. So I only have a little bit. So agility. One time swiftness. Activate to select another skill. Cost is reduced by one and gives swiftness during this battle. Okay, select the target. Um, basic attack, basic attack. Damage amount, probably that one. Let's go for the, the table, if I can. Uh, can I not? Oh, must be defeated first. That guy has a taunt. Okay, oops, enemies suddenly engaged. Did it scare you? Enemies can engage before you end the turn. When the action counter on the left of the enemy's health bar goes to zero, it'll attack. Action count will decrease every time a skill is cast, except swiftness action. Blue gem is not affected by this. When you end your turn, all enemies with action count remaining will take their turn. Okay, well, unfortunately, I don't have anything else I do to do. We could try using the unknown scroll, but it looks like that might be a non-combat thing. So, it's a deck... It's a deck builder, roguelike dungeon crawler. Okay. Yeah, the art's nice, animation's lacking. I can live with the animation lacking, though. Like, grand scheme of things, not super important. Oh, select a skill in hand, discard it, draw a new card. Okay, that's useful if, uh, if I don't like a card, actually. So she's getting smacked around a bit. Uh... Start whacking him. It looks like we got food. We also have the necklace. Faint to debuff from an ally. Okay. Let's heal her up. Almost done. Tea time to another attacker when attacked. Okay. Anyone know the name of this game? Uh, it should be the, the stream title currently. It was... Oh, I forget. Start health and orb with mysterious power. Can be used to increase an ability. Ooh. Chrono Arc. There we go. Upgrade your character by using a soul stone. Tab to open up the info window. Click on a character in the party menu to s see more information. Click on a character. Probably going to give it to her. Level up using a soul stone. You can learn new ability, a uh, new skill every time the character levels up. Learnable skills will be given randomly. Hmm. Okay, so I only have two soul sto stones. I can also add a draw skill or increase max mana. Uh, yeah, so there's the resource. Let's just level her up. Burn! Uh, so we've unlocked her passive. It's actually quite useful. And, oh, now I get to pick a skill. So I'll take that. Burn counter, whenever, burn counter whenever Miss Chain is attacked by a taunted target. Zoom. Heal for half of the amount of damage dealt. I like zoom and engine burner. Engine burner uses a lot of mana, which is a bit of an issue. 
So let's go zoom. Oh, we can learn more. Honestly, let's just keep loading up zoom. What kind of skill you can manage it? Okay, click color onto skill, yellow clash, shared blue, shows its status. If you want to use the skill every turn, you can designate it as a fixed skill. It's not necessary, but keep it as a fixed skill if it's important. Lastly, you can increase the amount of the maximum mana or obtain a draw skill by consuming a soul stone. Max mana and draw skills increase, increase overall combat level. I don't really know if I want to fix anything. What I'd like to do is probably get rid of basic attack. Swap a skill when you have five or more skills. Gotcha. Okay, this is fine. Let's keep going around. Oh, we should probably look at this, actually. A magic book is open in the middle of the library. Select equipment to enchant. I don't have any equipment currently. So we'll look around and we'll come back later. Okay. I'm digging this. This has got this has got some potential to it. Oh no, we want to go back to sound. I'm gonna keep turning the music up by a bit. It might get a little bit loud during the menu. So we might have to change things around accordingly. I don't know. So what's in here? Uh treasure chest. Okay. Got a potion, potion, and a lucky amulet. Increase CC accurate? Critical? No. Pain, pain accuracy, weakening accuracy. Looks like it's also unidentified. What's the floating necktie do? Uh, I don't actually know. Okay, gotta kill that first. Now, four turns, can't hit that. But we've got Zoom, which gives her a burn. I thought Zoom was supposed to heal her. Oh well, she's got a healing hit anyway. Or maybe it did heal her and it was just the shield. I'm not entirely sure. Let's see. Will this heal her up? It did actually heal her up. Okay, cool. And just by getting that, she's considerably stronger than she was earlier. Okay, I'm assuming... Looks like we might be able to get more, uh, like, characters along the way in the future. Can analyze a potion without identifying it. Cool. So, three healing per turn. Poisons an enemy, ten damage per turn. Any healing potion. Well, let's go with chemical substance number one. And we've got a healing potion, healing vapor, or chemical weapon. Healing him at six. Uh, let's grab healing vapor just to have it. I don't know if it's better. Still don't know what this well does. I think it might be teleportation. There's a boss protecting this area. Ensure you're ready before you battle the boss. Yeah, let's not do that. But yeah, so we have a healing potion, and we have an attack enhance bonus. During this run. So is that just for the rest of the run? I wish I could see... her stats and how it was affected... But I guess it, I guess it can't. Bag of gold, somebody drops. Loot it all. Okay. Uh, press M to open up the map. We can go here to enchant something. So I guess we might as well enchant the lucky amulet. Still don't actually know what it does. Lifting scroll. Heck, if I know what that did. But I guess now we know where they are. Okay. This looks anime. Ain't nothing wrong with anime. I can't tell you what the well does. Oh, okay, that's how you open the map up. Well, uh, she's probably fine. She's got some heavy healing, and it's a, it's a Gerberus. Okay, so chemical substance number one. Yeah, let's see if we can poison it. Intoxication resist. Uh-oh.
Oh. Zoom costs more. Cycle that for healing vapor, which costs too much. Why does it cost too much? Or is it character things? Let's explain the healing gauge. Ally takes damage. Healing gauge is shown damage received. If you add remaining healing gauge after receiving an enemy attack, remaining amount will be reduced. Healing gauge shows the amount you can fully heal for. Heal as quickly as the exceeding amount will heal for less. Healing gauge will recover after battle. The sooner you're under a battle, the sooner the healing gauge will recover. Okay. I'm guess I'm gonna have him do vapor regeneration, which I guess works on both of them. Fortunately, he's getting kind of wrecked here. This dog is brutal. Okay. Character will faint if they re receive additional damage at death's door. Recover from death's door by healing. Oh. Okay. Uh, it should be fine. We do have agility, but I'm going to switch it out for basic attacks. Not the most exciting, but can't do anything else. End turn. I do have the healing potion. Ow. Lucy. Did you get stuck in an irreversible situation again? Well, don't worry, though. Just embrace destiny. This is not the end anyways. Continue? Okay. It's just her now, but that's fine. Because she's got zoom. And burn. Basic heal. We'll cycle basic heal out. Well, can't do anything else. Alright, let's agility zoom. And just wail on this guy. We should be able to pick him back up. Okay, so we got an Axe of Rage. Speed minus two, soul stones, unknown scrolls, some money, and credits. Permanently unlock or reinforce at the arc before the journey starts. Ooh. Okay, so Joey is messed up. Uh, let's see. So let's close this. Let's fix up Joey. I guess we'll heal, heal him. Eat bread, you child. Uh, let's see. And let's go. Well, I'm digging this. I don't get to play a whole lot of... Oh, there will be a campfire between stages. Oh, well, shoot. I wasted all of my resources on this. Oh, well. Consume items in a different way during camping. For instance, food items will heal all allies instead of just one. But I wasted all my shit. Uh, Alright, whatever. Axe of Rage. I don't know what speed does. Could have gone back to the upgrade book. I already used the upgrade book. Let's see. Request rescue? Oh, I can recruit. Uh, let's grab a damage dealer. Let's grab this guy. All right, now I have three party members. What's this? Closing the game. Oh. No, we don't want to save and quit. What's this thing? Oh, select items to activate the artifact. Oh, maybe I could have actually banked stuff with that. I don't really know. But uh, usually I bounce pretty hard off of dungeon cr crawlers, but this one is immediately a lot more interesting. At least as far as I'm concerned. Now should we start this? Okay, so definitely need to start increasing my mana gain. In fact, should start doing that sooner than later. Uh, chemical substance number one. Yeah. Did you notice some skills cost more? Character who casts a skill will overload. Character with Overload will need one more mana to cast additional skills. Except the Swiftness skill. Okay, so pretty much you want to mix whose actions take effect. Cycle that out for a basic attack from him. And he should be poisoned. Oh, 
Uh, okay. So, basic heal him, because he's in trouble. He dies of poison. Uh... Little guy isn't too bad. Oop. Nope. Cycle that out for an agility. Well, shouldn't have cycled that out, but that's fine. Okay, do we do healing vapor? Agility healing vapor. Healing vapor, everybody. Basic heal, child. How much else we can do? But we should be able to just heal as long as we don't kill this little guy. We'll get him down, though. The leaf puppers are crying. That they are. I have no mer mercy for leaf puppers, though. All right, let's just pop that and hit him. It still hurts. Uh, let's see. And we've got some gems, so... Probably just hit... Yeah, it did. So, let's level him up quick. Whenever Hind destroys an enemy with a skill, cast again with half damage to a random enemy. Ooh. Multiple attacks... Assault Slash. Tear up. So attack a, an additional random enemy. 25 to a random enemy. Or 14. Let's go with Tear Up. I think... Identify weakness. Cannot be a fixed skill. Next skill on the target has a 100% crit chance and 20% accuracy chance when successfully cast. Endure, barrier, and multiple attacks. Grab barrier. Okay, could level up, but let's increase my max mana. Do we get a draw skill? Maybe. I got four. Let's level up Miss Chain. Receive damage equal to 15% of max health. Select one skill of three random skills of Miss Chain from all decks. Damage does not apply to Death's Door. Let's grab, I'll take that. I was hoping she would level up a bit further, but still. The speed is on the main chart. Main. Oh, here. Higher the speed, higher the action count. Oh. Maybe that ain't worth it. So what's this? Shop, I assume? Okay, so we can buy a key. Massive heal. How much money do I have? I got a lot. Scroll that disables all curses on equipped items. Hmm. Let's grab massive heal and a key. And that's all the money that I have. So how does how do books work? Let's see, healing amount three. I mean I guess I'll give it to him. Where did that go? He learned it. I'm confused. Or, oh, no, that's fix the skill. Well, idea. Oh, fix skill. So there's agility. Oh, but the cost goes up. I get it. So in that case, I'm going to fix that skill so he gets his basic heal back. So fixed skill increases cost, but lets you have it always. Might not be a bad idea if I can use more, but still. Oh, 
Okay, dive into the fight. Might as well dive into the fight. I guess there's massive heal. I... Eh. Okay. So, damage amount 8. Accuracy, good. Burn, counter when Miss Chain is attacked by taunted target. Okay. So there's that. Looks like we can immediately dive into Zoom, Chemical Substance, and let's reroll Massive Heal for basic heal, heal him. Okay, I get it. Uh, what's this? Or does that mean he's about, or that means he's taunted. Okay. Why did I only get two cards this time? I have no idea. Question, does tear up? Okay. So tear up does not, in fact. She is just blasting us. Okay, let's cycle endure. Basic heal him. She gets burn. I guess we'll just hit her with the regular attacks. Okay. Let's see. We've got three now, so let's go in here. Add a draw skill. Select one skill from two random cards of the deck, draw the skill, or... Select a skill from the deck and draw it. Let's just grab search. Have I got... No, I haven't gotten this yet. Okay, Gambler's Ring. Extra crit chance, reduced accuracy. Increased max health during this run. Uh, let's see. Give that to Joey. We might want to just start, start rolling some... Uh, some scrolls regardless. So what is this? Old wooden box that's been abandoned for a while. Okay, has a necklace. Received healing. Speed. I guess I'll give that to him. Who can I see accuracy? 101, 102, 88. I'll actually I'm gonna give it to her. Oh, identification scroll. Let's identify these. Increases speed during this stage. Probably should have done this. You know what? I'm just going to give him the lucky amulet. We'll figure it out. So, rough. Attack minus one. Oops. Okay, discard. I'm still going to give it to him. His attack doesn't matter nearly as much as his... Uh, as his poison success chance. Okay, we get another jar. Jar's got bread. Might want to save onto that bread. Uh, did I save onto that? Hold on to that bread. Alright. We still haven't determined what these wells do. I'm assuming the wells are supposed to heal you? but they don't, so I'm mostly just confused. Grass Dochi stack. Cannot be disabled. Armor plus 50. They're so cute! Okay, chemical substance number one. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Let's cycle his basic... Okay, what do we grab? Let's grab tear up. really help the way I wanted it to, but oh well. Oh! I undid the stack. Okay. Let's taunt. And nothing else. Those suckers hurt. Okay, cycle. Do we cycle the basic heal? Actually, no, let's not. Let's hit the center one. 
heal him up some more. Okay, she's... Still resisted. Okay, let's, um... Cycle out agility for Endure, I guess. She gets that. I guess he has to Endure. Do we hit it? Eh. Let's have him do the hitting. I gotta remember, I've got those preset skills. Ow, please stop hitting my healer. Well, we have massive, massive heal. And basic heal, which doesn't actually seem to heal. You need that heal amount to even do anything. I'm not quite sure how he reached death, death's door. Yeah, the healing in this game is confusing because it feels like you can only heal if they've got that heal amount. So what is this? Can only be used in battle. Gotcha. I'm gonna heal Joey up. Go save the bread. I'm gonna save the bread here. Uh, let's see. I've got a lot of money again. So what's this guy have? Okay, I guess I'll give her flash heal. Oh, so now he's got massive heal. Maybe I just missed it earlier. I am honestly unsure. Honestly, I think I might actually give him mass massive heal as a fixed skill so that we can heal up properly whenever we want to. Have I been everywhere? I think I've been everywhere. I'm really curious about this well. It feels like you're supposed to use it to heal up. But it doesn't work? I don't know. Anyway, on to whatever the heck this is. Oh, she's tough looking. Crucifying Curse, that's a new one. Do that, okay. If this skill stays in your hand at the end of your turn, it's automatically cast on all, on all ally characters. Five damage per turn. Guess we gotta cast it on her, that sucks. Okay. Do we do healing vapors? Actually, no, we do agility healing vapors. Basic attack, basic attack, burn, and do we do a basic heal, which I don't, oh no, it, do, it does actually heal, it just only healed for four. Oh good, she brought friends. Can we stack that? Oh no, we can stack that. Oh, this is really bad. Uh, massive heal. Sure. We have... We do not have enough mana for zoom. Okay. We have zoom. We have weakening curse. Okay. These are kind of freaking... Rough. That's okay. Oh, wait, what? I guess let's just do massive heal. We're just gonna heal tank through everything. Music's pretty good. A little aggressive, but ow! 23 damage! Freaking hell. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's why. Uh... Start with tear up. Let's search. Uh, take that. Taunt him. She gets burn countered. Let's do massive heal. Put 
potion her up. Uh, nothing else I can do right now. Jesus. He is at negative seven. Ow. Well, we got a cool counterattack. I love it. Massive heal. Basic heal. And you know what? Damn it. Yeah, those curses are brutal. I'm doing okay, except for this guy who's getting wrecked, because... Okay, let's search for... Zoom. Okay, there she goes. Basic heal, weakening curse on him. Okay. We've got healing vapor. We've got flash heal. We've got massive heal. Okay, he's outside of death's door again. And I guess we'll give her crucifying curse again. Hopefully the boss does not summon you shit. Let's re-roll that. Still gives me plenty of mana. Okay. Keep rolling those heals. Yeah, I can barely even hit the boss. It's a bit of an issue. Oh, and I forgot to do Crucifying Curse on... I guess I'm giving it to him. Gotta spread it out a little. Even if he's grievously wounded, this guy is in trouble. Cycle that out for basic attack shit. I can't do anything else. Probably should have cycled out the basic attack. Well, she's got the taunt. So, we're not doing so bad there. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Well, she's already got... Crucifying Curse. Cycle this out. Hopefully we get a zoom. We get a zoom. Alright. Good stuff. Uh, I don't have anything else that I can do. And unfortunately, she's going to resummon Gooners. Maybe not. Okay. Uh, heal him up. Crucifying curse on him. Get zoom. It's not much. Really ain't much. Damn it. Yeah, I pretty much knew it was doomed. I mean... Maybe she'll be okay. This feels like one of those roguelikes that, like, no matter what, you pretty much... Oh, she has healing. Uh, one of those roguelikes where, no matter what, you're, like, beholden to the meta progression system. It's alright, it's not done yet. At least you can play the game again, right? Yeah, let's see, let's see what those credits are used for.